the ancestral divination that can lead into masculine initiation. So let's uh, discuss this uh, further because as I'm here at this beautiful location that has been uh, of course hundreds and nurtured by uh, hundreds of years from my ancestors here from this region in the southwest of the Netherlands. I think now it becomes very very important to have a very close look at where exactly we came from, where are our roots come from so we can integrate more of our identity and become more of a wholesome person. Another reason of course is like we live a very shallow life. A lot of us men we feel so many voids that exist within us and uh, therefore we always are losing ourselves in mind numbing distractions and addictions and and all of that that is leading to temporary pleasures or stimulations but at the end we continue to feel empty like we are missing some sort of of a purpose in our life we as men we are not supposed to be comfortable we are not supposed to indulge ourselves in luxuries of our modern world and because everything is right now at our fingertips it's very easy to get distracted from our soul calling of our true purpose in life of where exactly that what we want to build for ourselves and the legacy that we want to leave behind another thing is of course very important to realize is like we don't really know exactly who we are where we came from so we can identify where of course we are going like what kind of identity is running from our veins is running through our veins is part of our blueprint of our our dna of what everything that our ancestors has been building and how can we build upon that instead of distracting ourselves into instant stimulations addictions and distractions so let's talk about the ancestral divination that can lead towards masculine initiation let's say within our modern life modern men don't really seem to go through any kind of initiation from boyhood into manhood let's take for example the movie 300 of the spartan warriors where little boys who were in early puberty when they were like 13 or 14 years old they were sent out into the woods into the mountains and they had to fight against wolves and bears the elements nature and all of that and if they were able to come back then they will be ready to join the hunters and the warriors then they could call themselves a man who are man enough to go with the warriors and the hunters that primal force that primal energy still exists within us just because we are surrounded by comfort doesn't mean that still exists within us and we must reconnect with that in order to feel like we have some kind of mission or purpose that we are fulfilling and this is a very personal and individual path a journey we must go on we can surround ourselves with so many other people who are maybe on a similar path or we can distract ourselves by lots of beautiful women but they can never truly understand what it is that we must go through in order for us to feel fulfilled and nothing really in the external world can actually fulfill that journey for us. So here at Germanic Wellness, as I'm actually going through a little of, of an identity change as well, because for the last few years I've been making this type of videos that really had an emphasis on self-reflection, although that still kind of runs through my DNA of these type of videos as well. I want to build upon the ancestral lineage that I can find here at my ancestral lands of where my roots are really from and that really refers to the Germanic people who have been living here growing up more than thousands of years ago pre-christian era who were of course very connected to the nature to the lands to the water to the tides to the elements to the sun to the winds to the weather they were really dedicated to a nature-based spirituality who were honoring their ancestors who were honoring different kind of spirits and deities and different kind of gods and goddesses that could help them on their journey of being a sailor of being a merchant of being a fisherman being a farmer or being an 
a merchant trader or an entrepreneur eventually of course that really also established here in these regions of the commercial trading companies who have been venturing out on the open seas throughout our 17th century the dutch golden age now these ancestors didn't do that without a purpose they brought something they have embedded something within our dna that we must take over we must honor that we must embrace that we must integrate that within our identity in order for us to build further and move ahead into our modern day life in our daily life we could say we live in a world of course like in a complete different world of what our ancestors really used to live and that's why it's more important is that we don't become like a feather in the wind that really seems to blow all over the place but that we come rooted and integrated within ourselves, know exactly where we came from so we know exactly where we are who we are and of course where we are going so it's a nature-based spirituality that is here to optimize our energy levels and when i talk to when i speak about our spirituality i really talk about our primal force our our nature that exists within us our true essence of what it is that we are actually born with except it is like covered all around identifications and indoctrinations and trauma and all of that that is kind of like preventing from staying connected with our true authentic self it is the petrol that we must put in our petrol tank that can drive our vehicle and of course the mind is the engine and we must of course optimize this engine with our energy levels so these energy levels we must of course we must optimize them in order for the best performance in our modern day life so what i'm talking about like going into let's say an ancient nature-based spirituality let's talk about animism or paganism of of course were our ancestors were really connected to it's not like an escape or it's not like a bypass from our daily life because you know the daily life suck or whatever or the system is rick we are living in the financial system is being weaponized against hum humanity listen we all know that and that's why we must do this in order to be stronger is to connect more with our primal energies coming from our ancestral lines that can get us into this fighter state into this warrior mindset into this hunter gatherer mindset so many people are diagnosed with add adhd but it's more like in another form of, that's being created by pharmaceutical industries of course to sell more pills to the ill but it's more the hunter gatherer minds or the hunter gatherer nervous system that had to be highly sensitive to our external surroundings we had to be listening very closely to to the elements to the nature to the winds to the water of where exactly we could go and find our game find our in order to identify a prey or a predator that's why we had to be highly attuned to the external environment but now of course we get bombarded with so many distractions from our modern world is that we must come here to our century which is of course nature the water the sea and all of that to really to have a look at our ancestral divination journey it's not like oh you do this one two three things and boom you know you're suddenly enlightened it's a whole process a whole journey of learning and studying and doing ceremonies or working with altars or giving yourself some time to relax so you can reflect on where you are currently at is to go out in in, in nature and attune to your surroundings because that is all part of this divination journey or perhaps it's also learning with actually divination tools like learning and studying the runes for example which also has been really used a lot in 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 in, in divination you know of, of working with with um, 
working with an altar, a sacred altar, in order to find messages from our guides and spirits on finding guidance or where to move next. It is of course this ancient alphabet that is being used within the Germanic and Celtic and Nordic tribes that we as North Europeans are of course still connected to. I mean, here from this region, about 10, 15%, we might still have DNA from uh, Viking ancestors because they have, of course, has been raiding this lands as well. Bringing over, of course, also their traditions and ways of divination and spirituality and all of these type of things. Of course, it's also, moving into different shamanic practices that can help us to to align more with our ancestors so we can open up our minds and spirit and body to embrace more integrate more of this spirit that we must need to feel more grounded in our own essence and in our modern day life this is kind of like the integration process to bring in more of our masculine energy that is needed to go and get out onto the hunt is to be the warrior that can fight against this modern system of capitalism in order to do well and prosper and move forward and that's for us like a two-way street of finding trials and tribulations and finding hardship and challenges because that's also part of our initiation journey that's the path of the warrior but now we of course we are fighting a different kind of battle in order to maintain our mental health in a world that ain't a harbor for the human spirit and yet we must of course maintain a level of, of stoicism in in mastering our emotions and our mindset in all these type of challenges now we don't have to fight the bears and the wolves but now we might indeed find fight the, the the bear market or the bull market within the financial markets for example and for that of course we need to build our energy levels we need to build our mindset and to stay very sovereign about our own state of being is to master our emotions and that's really what i'm referring to to this type of practices that we can bring into our life this is part of staying grounded within ourselves despite the external circumstances of what we can find and through all these ventures that we take on you know maybe in our daily life our jobs our careers the businesses we want to build all of that is going to give us hardship and these hardships are needed for us to create trauma to create pain and through trauma through the pain that is really how we exercise the heart the heart chakra and how greater we build and we open up the heart chakra that is really how we build the kingdom within that's when we can create more power and authority within ourselves that's when we can create and build the empire or the legacy or the kingdom the kingdom that exists within us that eventually can be reflected externally and how more we dedicate ourselves how more we find self-love through self-discipline and that's really what is needed for us to create a safe harbor for eventually to let the queen into our kingdom that's how we become the king is masculinity it's built of us going through the valley we were born in the valley and we must climb the mountain because at top of the mountain that's where we find our divine feminine queen and in order to attract a divine feminine queen we must embrace our divine masculine within and of course it's also the process and the journey of not only being the warrior the fighter the hunter and and, and being the king ex internally and externally but through that we can also embrace more of being the lover and being the magician because the magician it's needed for us to embrace more knowledge and wisdom and being a bridge between here the, the physical world the material world and the non-material world that's where when we find our wisdom our higher intelligence our insights our inspirations and give it a name 
but our ancestors has had had lots of different names and identifications like deities gods goddesses but at the end it is like something that we can bring in our life as well in, our, in order for us to find guidance in sometimes in an in a time when we lose perhaps vision of living in uncertainty or when we feel like we are a tiny little drop of water in a desert feeling highly isolated perhaps from the whispers we want to align with that can guide us further on our journey when we feel isolated from our calling but yet this is really what we must commit to within our solitude we can listen to these whispers given to our guidance and supports and spirits and gods and deities that we can align ourselves with this is the true work that we must do in order to integrate more of our divine masculine is that we must separate ourselves from the world from the outside world from all these distractions and stimulation and also from other people who are on their own journey and also when we must perhaps take the sacrifice of not going through the long hanging fruits that doesn't represent the image of the divine feminine or the divine queen that we want to bring in our life and the low hanging fruit might be you know like a stepping stone and it may, may, may give us like some kind of boost in our ego that we can enjoy but you know it ain't the one that is going to continue to build with us uh, that won't be the true partner in crime who don't who is not going to be our soulmate, our twin flame, who is not going to be our person that will be our power couple in order for us to, to embrace even a greater initiation. The initiation is for us to, to build and create so eventually we can be, be prepared to be the safe harbor so the ship can go along sight and deliver her cargo and the ship is of course female but for us we first must become the tiny little drop of water that reconnects with his ocean and the ocean can create waves and tsunamis of transformation but it can also of course create a peaceful harbor for the divine feminine to go alongside and give birth and deliver and that's really the process and the journey that we must be on by first of course recognizing and going through the divination of our ancestors how the ancestors can empower us in our integration and our identity because having a strong identity is what is needed for us to stay strong grounded and rooted within our energy so we won't be a feather in the winds that can blow away when a bit of wind sets in neither do we want to be of course a candle in the winds that also gets blown out when the rain sets in we want to be sturdy we want to be stoic we want to be a rock here of course where the waves of transformation can clutch in and that we can easily pull off is that we become rock grounding steady within us this is a journey that we must continue to expand and continue to explore within ourselves. And as I'm North European, I will be continue to explore further into our Germanic, Nordic and Celtic traditions of what our pre-Christian ancestors used to practice, which is still part of our DNA and which is part, still part that still exists and is running through our veins and accepting that embracing that will be part of our integration journey so if you are on a similar journey if you want to dedicate yourself to nature-based spirituality to optimize your energy levels to fuel your system to energize the mind so your body can perform and go and get out there and be strong and be the warrior in order to be be a manifester for your kingdom and for your legacy and then you know what you gotta do click the like su subscribe button and uh, let's uh, conquer this journey together